Okay. So now I'm going to start with the factor rental problem. For that, you need to start with, you know, you need to start with, go to the browser, go to the browser. There you need to start with hacker ranker login. Hacker ranker login. So, try to understand and to understand this hacker ranker application development, we must know complete Python. We must have the complete knowledge on Python. Then only we can get the subject. So without knowing Python, we may not be able to understand what I am explaining. Of course, we start from very basic level and we will enter into the advanced level. Now we need to take it as a sign up. Sign up. Coming to the point back, sign up. When you come to this sign up, when you come to this sign up, and uh, I enter my details there, students. I enter my details. Because I already said to you, this is called what you need to enter is Python here. This is Python. We need to take it. And this is my gold batch, which is having here. This is already I said in the class, even in the regular classroom also. There you need to solve these things. So there are different type of things are there. You need to take it. These are the things what I solved it from basic level to advanced level that we need to take into the class. Students, now one or two students are saying that are not able to hear. I hope everybody is clear now. I hope everybody is clear. Now it is everybody clear now. Are you getting students? Fine. Okay. Now, for small thing, for small presentation purpose, for small presentation purpose, let me take one small uh, presentation uh, software. I will take Zoom it. IT software is there. Let me take that Zoom it. IT for uh, explanation purpose. So here I am going to take it. Okay, now I'll move to the further student. Now let us move to the further discussion now. So last session, we have already done different type of, so this is my login details which I entered. Now first problem, we are going to look into that. So once again, I am saying students, to do this type of factor ranking problem, complete Python is required. Complete Python knowledge is required. Because we use different type of facilities. Complete Python must know. Right. So, the complete Python, if you want to know, in our regular sessions, we have the, in regular sessions, we have the complete classes. And this is for helping to the students. We are taking this type of, uh, monthly ones, we are taking this type of problem solving approaches using hacker ranking thing. So, let us start with the first problem. These are all different challenges which I solved it from the basic to advanced level. And uh, we start with, you are the beginner, I start with the first one. So let us look into this first one. Say hello world with Python language. So here, students of different type of uh, backgrounds will be there. To make everybody into consideration, I am taking this type of things. Students, are you seeing the screen? Hacker ranking screen on the screen. Are you seeing this hacker ranking screen? Well, now we are supposed to write down. See this. Try to understand the problem, students. The main thing is, the main thing is, you have to understand about your, the sample line of code that can be executed in Python. They are only giving some hint for you. Print of hello world. They are giving, they are giving some sampling data also. That sampling of data we must learn. And you can just as easily store a string as a variable and print it to what? Standard output. Standard output. 
Next is called my spring is equal to hello world. Hello world. Print of what? MSG spring. That will be printed as this. So the above code will print hello comma world with exclamation on your screen. Try it yourself in the editor below. So they are giving sample input here. Sample input they are giving. What is the sample input they are giving? Here, sample input. Output is something like this. Sample input and sample output they are giving you. So here, sample output is to print something like this. So, try to understand this type of things here. Students, see students, this is the one I am saying that and still some more one or two students are saying that uh, mic is not coming. So, this is the one I hope so. Last and final I will try. Last and final I will try. Just try to take minutes. One minute I will try. Wait for one more minute. One minute please. One minute. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Okay. Now perfect. So I hope perfect. Okay. Now I will start. Manish, is it okay? Good students. Now I will move to the further. Now I'll move to the further. Let us start the discussion. Some, some delay. Now I'll move to the, <clears throat> this type of uh, data I want to bring. Finally, after understanding this entire problem statement, you must have to understand this problem. To understand this problem, we must know English. We must know English. And you know, to understand this problem, after understanding in English, you have to convert it into Python statement. There is nothing but Python subject is mandatory for you. So, understanding the problem is one thing and applying the correct subject on this problem is one more thing. So, then how to do this? So, there, beside that problem, they are giving IDE also. They are giving IDE also. So, there you need to write the code for such type of problem. So, how to write it? Look at that generally. You need not write this uh, if underscore underscore name double equal to single quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore of need not to write. You can just write here what the message what they are given it. So what the message is given? Hello world. I am writing here something like this. Please look at once. Here I am having something I am missing here. Something I am missing. What I am missing? Comma is missing. Are you observing it? Are you observing this part? Everybody responded. Good. So try to observe students. After typing your code, after typing your code, you have to, first day I'm introducing this hacker ranker problems. You have to run the code. You have to run the code. After typing that, you have to run the code. Coming to this place and click on run the code because I wrote hello world. You click on the code, run the code. You will get immediately, they will test your code and they will give you what? Error. Error they will give you. See that? Beside that, you see wrong answer. That is nothing but you observe it. What they are giving? Ex the expected output is this. Your output is like this. So something you are missing here. Something comma you are missing. So wrong answer. So, sample test case 0 is wrong. So, you have to go to it. You have to revisit your code. You have to write a comma. You have to write a comma. Try to run the code again. Try to run the code again. Right? Try to run the code again. After giving comma, you try to run the code again. So, you will be getting, you will be getting, congratulations. You have passed the test case and uh, you have done it. 
and you need to submit the code to the hacker ranker people. Are you getting students? If you submit this code, you will be getting one message. It will be applied to all the test cases. It will be applied to all the test cases and it will say, congratulations, you have solved this challenge. Would you like to solve, would you like to challenge your friends? Are you understanding students? Is it clear? Of course, it is a first program. It is our left hand, left finger in our class and you know very well. Right, students. Like that, since you are the first day you are entering, since it is the first day you are entering, we are showing this type of simple example so that everybody must feel much comfortable with my explanation. Go to the back. Go to the back. After doing that example, it will be marked as solved. Slowly, we have to do that. That type of example, after seeing this problem statement, once again, my dear student, after seeing this problem statement, you can write the same code and in PyCharm also, you can do it. In PyCharm also. And if you feel uncomfortable in writing the same code, you can go to PyCharm. Dear students, you know PyCharm already. In my previous classes, I already solved it. PyCharm, you know already. I will exit and I will start once again. PyCharm, you know. This is a PyCharm. I launched that PyCharm here. So I'm launching the Python he, PyCharm here. It's an IDE, which we used to have the regularly in our classroom. And these are called, because in previous, in previous uh, problem-solving approaches, I taught more than many examples. And uh, look at my dear students. Look at my dear students. Here, I taught more than that example, because first time we are introducing this hacker ranking problems now. Now I'm going to start with one example here. What is this example now? Follow me carefully. Right? Here I'm going to take it. Something like what? H-A-K, H-A-C-K, uh, example one dot P-Y. Example one dot P-Y. So what is the code is written over there? You please see the code, what is written over there? Observe it. Some of the students are asking, what is this meaning? My dear students, this is what we used to use in older versions. It is not necessary to write in this present situation. You look at, I will write here, print talk. I'm writing here, hello, comma, what, old. A small example I'm showing you. First time you are interacting with me, see that. This name indicates it is the main program entries we are starting with. Main program entries we are starting with. Underscore, underscore name is one of the dunder variable or magic variable. And this indicates something like a main program dunder variable. If this is going to be a main program entries and we are going to run this code and execute this statement, it is saying. Try to run this once and see this example. And what is an output is coming? Here, hello world is coming. Output is coming in this place. And this is the case. And uh, in the present 3.x versions, in the present 3.x versions, you need not to write this. I'll remove this, students. You follow me. Need not to learn old, old kind of things. Hello, world. Now I can write. You run this code once again. You can run this code once again. Run hacker ranker example. Same output will be coming. You want to see some new thing? You can write. Uh, I am from, I am a, I am a first problem, first problem in in hacker ranker so i'm saying something like this you try to run this example you see that you are getting the same answer no need to write no need to write any such type of things are you able to follow me is it understandable students is it necessary to write is it necessary to write something like this is it necessary to write something like this kind of thing no need to write even if you write also, there is no special impact will be there on our examples. Well, students, did you understand this problem of this? Left side problem, right side ID will be there. Well, students, now I'm going to enter into the second problem I'm going to start. Write Anusha, Seema, this is called what? 
need not to take variable need not to take variable you have to understand don't give prerequisite is python is required python is required c students if you go to this hacker ranking problem if you go to the same example once again because don't get such a small small doubts so anusha is asking s is equal to s is equal to this message you are writing for example same na same na it is going to be same thing we are writing here now i am writing here also yes i am writing it so don't think that uh, it is going to be a, a small kids level you need to have to know that that's what ma that's what i am saying that's what i am saying so you see in the problem it is specified something like this you may take like that you can print like that output they want like this don't think that only as it is according to their requirement ultimately i need the output suppose if you take the variable here unnecessarily taking some memory space if i write directly output is coming you try to run this code you try to run this code same output will come same output will come so you need not to take any variable directly also you can write i need to get the output don't think that only one solution is there for each problem there are so many number of problems will be there there are so many number of problems will be there but solutions are many so for one problem there are many solutions are available so i hope anusha got it now i am going to enter into the further so coming to the point of it now i am entering into that my dear students if you attend daily to my class which i take on sundays the sundays which i take it i will solve all the hacker ranking problems that's why i started a free session for everybody the problem solving approaches with hacker ranking which i am going to solve in the class okay subhajit subhajit swain so try to follow me so whenever i take the session you can follow happily now let us coming to the next problem next problem i am going to come so try to understand python if else one more kind of thing i am taking next problem i am going to take it next problem you take it <clears throat> try to read this problem very well so this is most important understanding students try to follow me carefully look at here the task given an integer n perform the following conditional actions this is purely what all sorts of subject must be known if n is odd if n is odd wired you need to print it as what wired you need to print it as wired if it is if n is odd you need to print this value if n is even <clears throat> and it is inclusive in the range of 2 to 5 you need to print what not wired come on students see every time i cannot explain when new student is coming please follow me task i am explaining task task if n is odd if the number is odd i need to print what wired you know what is the odd number what is the odd number what is the odd number odd number is one which whose remainder is not equal to zero if a number is divisible by two which is not equal to zero remainder is not equal to zero that is called what odd but there are some subconditions are given there are some subconditions are given okay this is okay n is even if n is even and it is in the inclusive range of 2 to 5 and print not wide not wide that means 2 to 5 means what if it is 2 3 4 5 inclusive in the range of what 2 is even 4 is even if that is both of them are coming you need to print what not wired not wired you need to print next one more thing third condition is also there if n is even and it is in the inclusive inclusive range of 6 to 20 print wired by looking at it it is little complex you will feel but it is very easy if n is even and greater than 20 and print not wired it is nothing but it is nothing but what is that 
if number is not even that is a number is odd print void first print void already they given some sort of code for you already they given some sort of code how to write that code we are going to look into this we are going to look into this so coming to the point of it coming to the point of it now i am going to talk about this type of sentences how do you print this kind of thing n is odd void how to write the code now i am writing already they given some sort of code for us if you want you can take your own your own id you can take and you can start writing and you need not to have this type of entire things so i'll write it what is that important all those things you don't worry students now i am writing it i hope you are understanding constraints you see single line containing positive integer input format they are giving the constraint the number should be one less than or equal to n and less than or equal to 100 and output format print void if the number is print void if the number is void otherwise print not void sample output 3 3 is called what odd odd means what do you need to print odd number print void n is 3 n is odd and odd numbers void so print void sample input 24 24 is called what it is a even even in the sense it is going to be what n is even and greater than 20 print not void which is more than 24 not void so i hope you are understanding about uh, this type of problem statement student did you understand this problem statement right so coming to the point back now i am going to talk about what are the first line first i will talk about what take the problem statement according to the problem statement you must understand what is this now if n not equal to n not equal to n percentage 2 there is no hurry student carefully try to understand n percentage 2 not equal to 0 n percentage 2 not equal to 0 what is the meaning of n percentage 2 not equal to 0 tell me is it odd or even it is a odd what should i do there what should i do there print print of i will print what the message what they are giving i will take that message as it is i'll take that message as it is because they are expecting their output including spellings also even i can write our own words also but they are expecting their own things if n is even this is called in the case of odd odd next i will write it one more condition is there what is that condition i will use elif i will use elif <clears throat> elif i will use it elif i will use it come to the point of it <clears throat> what is this elif <clears throat> my dear students don't put your code in the chat box because it will be giving disturbance for other people who are communicating with me. I already said in the beginning only. So, there is no award is given. You please follow me carefully. Okay? Right. Follow me now. Because others who are communicating with me, they will be getting, if you paste it, the code inside of it. Because we already used to discuss in our classroom many examples in our classroom based on that it is very simple today because if i enter into complicated that will be giving much more things so please follow me already we have done this type of examples many in the class this is today is very simple all people who knows our classroom uh, things you can solve this type of examples with the left hand left finger that's why students let us others let me interact with the subject related if you have written the code, it's well and good. It's most welcome. You execute it. Because you know, in our class, we used to do that. Next, I'm going to write it. L if n percentage 2 is equal to 0. What is the second condition? If n is even and inclusive in the range of what? 2 to 5. So, if n is even and uh, what I will write it? And uh, n greater than what? n greater than what come on you try to answer try to interact with me n greater than what 
Inclusive range. 2 to 5 na n greater than what? 2. Good. Greater than 2. Come on next. And what? And what next? Range of what? 2. And next is called what? n less than or equal to. n less than or equal to what? 5. n less than or equal to 5. This is condition. I said inclusive, no? Inclusive means greater than or equal to. I will write it. Greater than or equal to. Inclusive, they said, no? 2 must be included. 5 also must be included. That's what I am writing. Greater than or equal to 2. Did you understand this? Did you understand, my dear students? And if that is the case, print what? Print of. What is this now? Here I am writing not wide. Not wide. I am going to write the same message, not message like this. Like this. Are you following my point? Right. So, you can also write the same thing. You can also write the same thing. If you take that thing here, 2 less than or equal to, you can write. And uh, you can write less than or equal to 5 also. You can write it. Nandini. Do we already write ma? In our classroom, we used to discuss this type of topic also. If you read our notes, it is easy for us to solve any such type of problem. Okay, students, are you understanding me? Fine. Now I am going to enter not wide. Next condition is what? N is even. N is even. See, N is even. And it is inclusive in the range of what? 6 to 20. Inclusive in the range of 6 to 20. Print what? Wide. Print wide. Even only. This is also even only between in this range. Basically, they are testing on what? How you are good in if L if statements. If L if statements. My dear students, this is the problem you can attempt on many of the other, other kind of topics also. Range data type you can type. While loops you can type. There are many logics are there. You want to continue again? Do you want to repeat again? Like there are so many things are there. I used to tell in the class. Once you have more subject in our class, you can solve any such type of things in debt with the left hand left finger. Come on now. I am writing here. The thing is, what I am writing? L if, once again, tell me the condition. That condition framing is important, my dear students. N percentage 2 is equal to 0. N percentage 2 is equal to 0. We have solved so many examples in the class. And this is very simple. And this is for bringing to the outside people to know about how beautiful Python we are explaining here. L if N percentage 2 and the what range, we need to take it as what? N greater than or equal to 6. And uh, what is this next? n less than or equal to 20. You can write this type of conditions also. You can write this type of conditions also. Are you following, guys? Is this condition is clear? See that. You can say print of what we can say here, students. Again, your requirement. Again, your requirement. It is going to be available. We need to write the code what they are asking it. Next one thing is over. Now I am going to introduce 24 is there. If n is even and greater than 20, for example, entering the number called 20, number 20. What is happening? First of all, 20 not equal, 20 percentage to is equal to 0. It is becoming false. False means where it is coming to the L if n percentage, 20 percentage to is equal to 0. True. This is true. Next, n 20 greater than or equal to 2, false. False means it is coming to L if. What is this now? 20 percentage is 2 is equal to 0, true. Next, what is happening? 20 greater than or equal to 6, true. 20 less than or equal to what is happening? 20 less than or equal to 20, what is happening? True. What is printed? Wired is printed. Suppose if I enter 24, 24 is going to become what? False. It is going to print something else. If it is greater than 20, print what? Not wired. Are you getting? Are you getting students? What should I write it? Simply else I will write it. 
what is the else statement i am writing here print what what is the message i need to print not void i will print it not i can say not void i hope you are understanding this is it clear students is it difficult is it difficult is it difficult huh? no it is easy what is the concept behind that so the students who are available any outside students uh, students who are available we must know about if elif statements we must know first of all this type of thing we must know first of all this kind of thing so we must have the knowledge about what elif if elif statements yeah some of the students are asking who are from outside when the new batch will start the new batch is already will start very soon my dear students then the concept behind this is if we elif this if we elif statements are supposed to be supposed to be explained in the regular sessions now which is very very important so understanding problem statements are important understanding problem statements are important understanding the sample input sample output kind of things are Im important so coming to this now execute this now execute this code now see this now we are going to get it see that sample test cases here we are not entering any type of input and everything they are only going to execute everything they are only giving their own inputs and then testing and submit this code submit this code you are having this many number of things i hope you are understanding about these things so all the test cases they used it to test it there it is becoming successful are you following this did you understand students are you following students right so here there is one strip function is there strip what is this strip function strip function will eliminate strip function will eliminate leading and trailing spaces in the string leading and trailing spaces in the string that's all right now if i take this example if i take this example into which place i am taking for example you see which place i am taking i will go for it even you can execute in the pycharm also you can execute you can execute in the pycharm also let us look at that i am using something like you know hacker ranker example2.py hacker ranker example2.py now see this now i just mentioned it this is my code i written it here and you need to take it as what you know you need to take it as what you know input of it l if you need to write like this written and else part is written here i hope you are understanding about what i am talking so coming to the point back here i am entering something like this here i will take it this type of examples if you solve it you will be having lot of communicate lot of uh, discussion student so here you can take what is the n also you can get it n is equal to you can take it int of input of they are saying enter enter any number enter any number right enter any number you can take something like this so coming to the point back here i am writing this kind of code you try to run this code enter any number we can give our own number here something like you know some 13 what is the 13 13 is odd you are getting like this and i'll enter into something like you know something like you know like this i am entering into this what i am entering here 21 21 i got it it is wide right so if you want you can get it if you want you can get it suppose you are getting 21 wide 21 is called what actually 21 is called what actually here you observe it 21 is getting what is this wide is coming it is called what odd number is coming here odd number 21 is called odd it is getting now i will enter something like you know something like you know 24 you enter 24 you enter or 26 you enter 26 is called what not wide not wide 
Are you following this now? Are you following this? You can do this same code even in our PyCharm also. In our own IDs, you can do it. So, almost all the conclusions has done. My dear students, old previous, pre previous hacker ranking, previous my workshop problems, if you want, you contact the admins so that uh, if they give it, you take it. So, it is not there in my hands regarding that kind of things. Right. So, like that, you try to enter. Somebody is asking 23. 23 is called what? Void. 23 is what? Odd number. Are you following, ma'am? So, my dear students, is it clear? Confirm all of you. Is it clear? All of you. Right. Is this type of problem solving is good for you or not? Is this type of problem solving is good for you or not? Yes. Most useful. Very good. So, coming to the point back, here I am going to move to the further. So, coming to the point of it, who is that student? Anjali, student is asking, Seema, I already said, again asking, uh, more than 20 I entered, 23 I entered, got the odd number, na, odd number wide, odd number I entered. You run once again, here you enter something like, you know, 46 you enter, 46 you enter, not wide. 46 is called what? More than 20, even number. Are you following me? So, if I enter something like, you know, if I enter something like, you know, 50, 53 you enter, it is an odd number. Got it. Right. So, please, this anybody is get, not understanding the problem, you will be getting this. You have to follow all such type of constraints. You have to follow all such type of constraints. That's all. Now, let us enter into the... You can see, all of you, once we provide one solution, there are many more solutions are available. You try to reduce the number of lines of code. You Whatever you like it, you reduce the number of lines of code. Once you become perfect, na, you can start working on reduction of the code. That you can become, I said in the class how to become, how to reduce the code. In shortcut, how to write the code. I already said in the class, I used to give that continuous tips in the class. Shall we move to the further now? Shall we move to the further now? Shall we move to the further now? Let's move to the further. Now, I am entering into next, another type of discussion is there. Another type of discussion is there. Now, I will move to the further. So, see students, another type of discussion, which is very easy, arithmetic operators, you take it. They are testing on arithmetic operator because you are in the first day, beginning day you are in, so that we are going on doing this problem-solving statements. Whenever I feel the Sunday, I will take this type of classes. Study this task, all of you. Study the task. I will read out the task and then follow me. The task I am writing. The provider code stub reads two integers from STDIN. STDIN means what? Keyboard. Standard input from keyboard. You are reading from keyboard. A and B. And add, add code to print three lines where first line contains the sum of the two numbers. Two numbers you are accepting and reading First line need to print the sum of two numbers. Second line contains the difference of two numbers. That is the first one minus second. They are giving formula also. Of course, it's a very simple. Third line contains the product of two numbers. That is nothing but A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3. You are saying print of, print of A plus B. Second line will print print of A minus B. And third line will print print of what? A star B. This is what you need to print. They are giving, if you did not understand this English, they are giving example also. A3, B5. Print the following. 8 is called a sum. Minus 2 is called what? You know, subtraction. 15 is, is called a product. Product they are giving. And they are giving this constraint, input format. The first line contains number A. Second line contains B. You have to read first A value and you have to read.
guaranteed B value and you are writing what? Constraints means what? Rules. They are giving some type of rules because these constraints they followed in the test cases. If any test case is becoming fail, you did not follow these constraints. What is that? The numbers you are entering should be less than or equal to A, should be less than or equal to 10 to the power of 10, 10 to the power of 10, such a big number they are taking. The constraint they are taking, 1 less than or equal to B, less than or equal to 10 to the power of 10, they are taking such a big number. I hope constraints are nothing but the rules. STD IN means reading the data from the keyboard. Reading the data from the keyboard. How do you read the data from the keyboard? By using which function? Input of. By using what? Input of. One more thing I used to tell in the class. Input of what? MSG. MSG. I hope you are following this. Which we already discussed in the class. STD IN. I hope. STD OUT means what? Monitor. On the output device, you need to print. Come on now. So, output format, print the lines as below. So, sample input 3, 2. What is that? 3, 2, 5. 3 minus 2, 1. And the next is called what? 3 into 2, 6. So, they are giving example also here. They are giving basic example also. What is the code they are given already? A and B they are giving. See, they are not giving any message. Already they are giving half of the code. Now, I need to write uh, print of print of A plus B. A plus B, print of A minus B, and next is called what? Print of A star B. Are you following students? Students who are in the online, are you comfortable? And it is just left hand, left finger. In, the, in our Python class, in the initial stages only, we used to do this. In the initial stages only, we used to do this. Well, my dear students, try to run. Try to run this code. Run the code and you are getting, once you run the code, you are getting done. Sample test case 3, 2. They are applying this sample test cases. What they are giving? Whatever the constraints and cases they are giving, they only will be, be, test their example. They only will test their example. I hope you have done it. So, finally, what did you understand? They are testing on what? Operator level. They are testing with operator level. If you want to run with your own confirmation, they are giving skeleton code for you. If you want to run, you can go to your place and you can write it here, simple way like this. What is this now? Go to your problem. Take this thing. Read the problem there. Read the problem there. And then do what? PY. Now I am writing here. Now I am writing here. So 3 dot py. Now I am taking that statements. Rather than taking that statement, here I will write it. If I run my code as it is like this, it is also not asking anything. 4 and 5 I am giving, I am getting the result like this. Instead of printing like that, you can print your own format, which, which we used to tell. Enter value of A. Enter value of A. Next, I am taking enter value of B. Now, I am taking here enter value of B. I am taking now students. Enter value of B. Write that. And the next, I am going to write it. You see students, sum is equal to, sum is equal to A star B. Now, I am writing here sub is equal to, sub is equal to, if you want, you can write like this also students. Dot format of, dot format of, a minus B. Here also I can write it. You know this entire things in the class. Not at all a difficult for you at this stage. Format of A minus B. A minus B. Now I am writing here multiplication is equal to and multiplication is equal to dot format of dot format. Instead of dot format, you can write here percentage F. F you can write percent of you can write like this also. Happy. You can use format specifiers. You can use all of them. Any many more things are there. You can print like this. Students, write. Now execute this code. Now see my dear students. Enter the 
value of a2 enter the value of card 4 you are getting the answer like this you are taking only integer you can take even float values also suppose if i run this if i run this if you run this suppose what you are taking 3.4 error is coming even in our hacker ranker they are taking what int they are taking int because they are taking what type of values here int int they are taking but i want to take what int type i want i want float type also this example will work only for integer data according to what they given but i look for what some additional thing to this float i want how do you do with float students can you tell me the recommendation to this code can you tell me the recommendation in our code i will do it what type of typecasting i need to take it come on what type of typecasting i need to take it yeah excellent float very good float i need to take it if i don't take if i take only integer it will work for only int data it won't work for flow data a is equal to excellent try to run this try to run this what i'm entering here a some 2.3 and next to some 4.5 you got the answer you got the answer if you want after two after the dot only two digits you want i said already the recommendation what is this now 0 0.2 you can say you can say even round also no problem round also you can take it round also coming to the point back here i am going to say 3.6 and then 2.8 you will be getting subtraction you are getting so much you can go for what rounding also you can take it rounding also you can take it here you can take it round function you can take it round of a minus b round of a minus b comma 2 you can say and close this bracket this also you can do it now i am saying here 3.6 and next is called what you know 2.3 i got the answer like this of course this you are supposed to take even some three to four also three rounds also you can take it 3.6 3.6 and 2.4 something like this you are getting something like this so depends on your rounding capabilities the values will be rounded so it is it is your own choice want to go to percentage 2 f want to go for this rounding or it is your own choice students is it comfortable so you may have a doubt sir in place of that i may enter what suppose i am entering something like kvr now i am entering something like this you are getting an error here such constraint is not there even in this place such constraint was not there even in this place so beyond this we can do in our regular class that is here here i can write it one small approach try i am entering something like what other than numerics i am entering other than numerics i am entering except except what i can write it value error how do you write it value error i can write it value error here i am taking so i am getting here print off i am writing don't enter don't enter what is this don't enter strs comma symbols symbols so and what al neums al neums right try to run this code now try to run this code here i am entering irrelevant input i am entering kvr so that kvr is a string data pure string i cannot convert into this immediately value error is going to come pv will come to value error and don't enter strs and symbols and alpha numerics and see the answer now don't enter strs symbols and all those things so if you enter any other than that you enter something like 10 and you enter something like a dollar you see that message is coming this is also one of the constraints rules on my area you see something like 120 you'll get the perfect answer perfect answer is coming so students i hope you are understanding about this discussion so i we enhanced our code so beyond the code of what this thing we just done it students in online can you please confirm it once again is it clear for all of the all of you 
very good nice now i'll go to the next example next example we will go for it next example we will go for it so done next i am going for another of another kind of thing next task i am going to give you look at the task please read out the next task here it is going to check out operators that is a slash and a double slash operator i used to explain in arithmetic operators in the arithmetic operators plus minus these are all things you know already and a slash and then double slash this will give you float coefficient this will give you what integer coefficient this is called a normal division operator this is called floor division floor floor division we can call right students come on to the point of right please read the task task reading is important so you need to have knowledge on english understanding the the provider the provide code stub reads two integers that means this will this stub stub we can call this will read two integer values a and b from std in that is a standard input device called keyboard already they are giving two things for it that they are saying and a logic to print two lines we have to print in two lines the first line should contain the result of integer division a double slash b that means if i say three double slash b if you write it what is going to give you it is going to give you integer coefficient that means i will take it 5 and then 3 i will take it 0 0 and 0 will be coming the answer is what you know because of double slash you will get 0 because of single slash because this is a 3 because of single slash what is happening you see this now this is a 5 and here it is 3 is there and i am writing here 3 g what is happening 0 what is the result 3 dot will come and 0 will be placed and 0 6 will be placed 30 that time it is going to be like this so this will be given by using single slash i hope you are following this is what they are calculating this is what they are calculating this is what they are giving it so here 3 and 5 they are taking and the second line contains the result of float division float division that is nothing but single slash will give you i explained this logic so a and b are printed the result of integer division is like this the result of float division is like this well print 0 this is a zero printed 0.6 is this 0.6 is printed this is because of uh, double slash this is because of what single slash input format the first line contains an integer a the second line contains an integer b they are giving you to you this a and b and how to understand this question i am saying print two lines as described above so like that you need to print below to that if you come 4 and 3 4 and 3 if you take it 4 and 3 that is a 4 double slash 3 and 4 single slash 3 4 single slash 3 if i take it 4 i will write it and 3 one or 3 i will write and this is going to be one here this will be given by what double slash this this will be given double slash here i need to write single slash only here i wrote double slash four single slash three i will write it four single slash three means what four here and this is three three one ja so something like this and one here zero here dot i will write three three ja nine here and it is going to be again one and zero three three ja it will be repeated it will be repeated three 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 so many number of threes will come i hope you are following this this is what this is because of one is coming 1333 this is because of this result is coming students are you okay this complete problem is explained for you
so how you write it now how you write it now tell me how you can write it can you tell me now come on don't take much time print off what i am saying print off what a by b a, a double slash b next i will write what here print off what a slash b that's all so the main important thing is how to understand the descriptive power because when you go to industry they don't give the problem like in a simple your understandable format they don't give you they will give you this type of task so with my expectation of course you will understand it but the people who think about outsider they'll be getting problem in understanding in english that the main problem what they face it so now try to run this a double slash b a slash b they are expect they are explain uh, uh, entering their own input try to enter this try to run the code try to run the code after writing this try to run the code so i'm going to run this code see this now here beautiful so done so submit the code for your things you are getting success so like this you can solve this task the same thing if you can run this in pycharm also you can do for your clarity purpose i am writing it so you can work with this place also so i'll take it something like hk example 4.py py now i can paste it here hacker dot example 4.py you can say like this and you can still enhance your enhance your coding efficiency you can enhance your coding efficiency by writing what enter here you can enter you can write your own message enter a value of a because they, they are giving the input from their side only and that means you are writing the code they are testing your code that is a greatness that is a greatness what you are writing the code they are evaluating right well so huh? nilesh this problem statement how to understand while reading it really looks dangerous yes my dear student not a danger for you it's very simple hmm? it is very simple that's what i am saying we have to enter like this a and b and you try to run this nilesh not like that ma if you try to go on doing that suppose 10 you say and 3 you say what is coming you see 3 is coming for coefficient and this is coming like this if you want to print you can say something like this how do you print it normal division uh, floor division this is called floor division i am writing floor division of a, you are writing a value and then b value is equal to result you are writing dot format of a comma b comma a double slash b you are writing because we cannot write this code in the that place why because they already expected they have their own thing they did not ask us to print like this in a detailed format they did not ask us to print now i am printing it is called what you know normal division normal div of writing here like this they are writing like this close it is equal to dot format of dot format of a comma b comma a slash b like this normal div floor div so try to run this now try to run this now you say something like 10 and 3 you say you got floor division you got it normal division you got it fine if any of the other things are expecting like any symbols they are expecting you see any symbols still they made this type of requirement see when you add like this you are getting a value error that also you need to handle it that means you are understanding how strongly you are writing the code with our python topics and this is not the case in anywhere else outside so value error so this main intention of this uh, solving problems like this is to bring to the notice of the people python is not like what people are teaching outside python is like this how you need to learn so don't enter same message don't enter alnums strs and what symbols 
and the symbols. You need to say. Yes to yours and the symbols. I am going to write it. Symbols. So try to run this. Let them enter whatever the values they like it. In the classroom, this topic will be coming under exception handling. This will be coming under exception handling. In outside places, they don't tell any exception handling mechanisms. They don't explain any exception handling mechanisms. We are only teaching. I am teaching in my class only with a ATM case study, with all, all sorts of the description like this. I am only teaching for you. Fine. Come to the point back. Now I am going to enter. Enter the value which you like it. 10 you enter. 10 you enter. One more thing also I can show you now. See students. I will enter something like 4. See the answer now. What is the actual result? 2.5. But the result is called what here? 2 is coming. This is called what? Floor division. Suppose if I enter anything else other than this I am entering. 10 I am entering. Now I am entering some dollar I am entering. Some dollar. Some dollar. See the, uh, uh, see the output what is coming? Anything enter wrong, we are making it as very strong. Don't enter ALNEMs and STRs and symbols. Dear students, are you able to follow? Are you able to follow students? Coming to the point back. You are understanding how to deal with this. And one more thing I will I would like to say. You think about it. 10 I am entering and 0 also I am entering. 10 by 0 is called what generally? 10 by 0 students. I used to tell in the class. 10 by 0 is called what? 0 division error. 0 division error. It is also one type of exception. How do you write it? In this case you see what will be the thing is coming? See, zero division error. It is also called one type of error from our side. How do you take such kind of thing? How do you evaluate? How do you take that constraint in our program? I need to write what? Except zero division error. Zero division error. I will say what? Don't enter. Don't enter zero for denominator. Don't enter zero for denominator. Denominator. So I'm going to say denominator. Just I'm writing this message. You try to run it once again. You try to enter students. 100 and 0 you enter. You are getting the message. Don't enter 0 for a denominator. Students, are you understanding? Are you able to follow me? What I'm explaining? Please confirm it. So this type of things are most useful. Is it really useful to you or not? Is it really useful or not? Yes. Now, this type of things, you have to go for it. Did you understand the meaning of this constraint, students? Did you understand the meaning of constraints here? Did you understand the meaning of constraints? Are you understanding how to are you understanding how to are you understanding how to understand and how to read? Very good. Now coming to the point back, coming to the point back, now I am going to enter into the further things. So one more example I am going to enter into that. Look at students, all of you. I'm going to the next requirement. Next requirement I'm taking. Next requirement I'm going to see that. Next problem I'm loading. Read the task. Read the task. The provided code stub means this one. The provided code stub. Reads and integer. Actually, there is some grammatical mistakes also will be there. The provided, provided code stub reads and integer. Read and integer. Reads and integer. Actually, reads and integer n. Like that they need to write. Reads and integer n. n. From where? STDIN. 
for all non negative integers that means the value what you are reading should be what non integer value are you following and print i square what is the value you are reading what is the value you are reading come on understand i you are reading i that should be whatever the value you are reading i should be less than what n should be less than n and you need to print what i square i square you need to print i square means how do you write it i into i you can write it you can write what i star star 2 also you can write it what is this i star star 2 what is that star star is called all of you what is that star star is called can anybody can answer exponent operator power of operator which we used to discuss in our regular class and come on to the point what is an example are you understanding this problem task student are you understanding this problem task are you following me right come on to the point example example you take it example n is equal to 3 the list of non negative integers less than n what are the less than n 0 1 2 0 1 2 here already written what is that 0 1 2 0 square 0 square is called 0 1 square is called 1 2 square is called 4 if it is 3 i need to print 0 numbers within the range that i value this are and I need to print what? I square. What is the I square? 0, 1, and then 4. I said already in the class, if a regular class, if you take it, first n natural numbers squares. First n natural numbers square. Right or not? What is the input? First, the first, first line contains an integer n. Integer n. That is, n is supposed to be less than or equal to 20. They are taking. 20 only they are taking and input constraint are what print n lines one corresponding each i so they are putting their own restriction you need not to put any restriction you can take anything that means uh, the n value what they are taking is up to 20 so n is 5 and they are printing 5 means what 0 1 2 3 4 0 square is called 0 1 square is called 1 2 square is called 4 3 square is called 9 and 4 square is called 16. Did you understand students? I explained the problem statement in detail. Explained the problem statement in detail. Are you following? Now I will move to the further. See already code is written. How do you write it? Simple line. Such a big task. How do you write it? For i in range of for i in range of 0, comma, n. 0, comma, n. 0, comma, n. I will write it print of i star star 2. That's all. That's all. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. I hope you got it. So try to run this code. Try to run this code. After writing this code, now you are saying. The main thing is you have to understand this. That's all. Because when this type of uh, question is given in interview, a lot of people don't understand this. So, that's why we must go on reading the subject. Without reading, we cannot get the notes. We have to read the notes thoroughly. See the answer now. What is the answer? We got it. Done. Five, they entered and got this. So, here nothing you are entering. Nothing you are entering here. See, this is not uh, even entering here. You are not entering. By default, it is taking by itself. If you want to test it, if you want to test it by yourself to enter your own values, you can take your own thing. This is called what you are entering into. STDIN, standard input. They are giving already some code for you. If you want to take it, you can take it in your place and you can test by yourself. You can test by yourself. So, there I am going to take it. So, hacker ranker example 5.py. 5.py. Now, you can take it. Hacker ranker example 5.py. You can see py and you can see this type of data. 
So they are given some requirement for you. Only within 20, something like that they said. Only within 20, they said something like this. How do you do that? If at all you are interested, enter any number, any number for it to find its squares, to find, to find its squares, to find its squares. That means how to solve that hacker ranking thing in a detailed manner. I am saying that. How to print it? I will print here. I said n is, uh, they given n is uh, 20. If that is n greater than 0 and uh, n less than or equal to 20, n less than or equal to 20, then only you execute. Then only you execute. If it is not, if it is not, else you write it. You can say that it is, is out of requirement, out of constraint, out of constraint. So out of constraint, you can say. Uh, what is the constraint? Within 20, they are given according to that problem statement. Print of what here? N, you can say. So there I am going to write it. Try. Now I am saying that. Now I am saying this. Here I am going to write it. Here I am writing. Except I am writing it. What is this now? Already said. Value error. Value error I said. There I am going to write it. This is our requirement of stopping don't enter strs comma symbols and uh, symbols and uh, uh, al nums so if you want to print that i value as well as i square if you want i can write it i value i can print it as well as i square i want to print it some backslash t i will write it dot format of dot format of i i can write it comma i star 2 also i can write it Natural normal numbers and then this thing. I will, if you want, I can write it one small line of code. This is for detailed output printing. We are customizing our requirement. What is that value I am printing? I value I am printing. Then now what I am printing, you know, I star I I am printing. I star I I am printing. I star I I am printing. I star I. So such type of statement I am writing in detail here. I am writing under Perlo. So try to run this now. I will enter this now. See this now code here. 5 I will write it. 1 to 5. One side I printing. What happens here? One side I is printed. I backslash T. Two backslash T's are there. Try to run this now. Here I am writing something like 5. One side I and I star I is printed. If you print something like you know 10 you print it. 10 times you are getting it. 10 times you are printing it. If I say 25, for example, you are saying 25 is out of constraint. 25 is out of constraint. So, coming to that, here I am writing. Here I am saying, my dear student, Pavan Kumar, here I am writing, within this, greater than 0, less than or equal to 20, do this operation I am saying. If I say 25, what is happening? 25 greater than 0, false. False, it is coming to this place. 25 greater than 0, true, sorry. 25 less than or equal to 20, false. One is true, one more is false. Which operator I am using? And operator. It is coming out and then say 25 is out of constraint. Did you understand, students? If I say that anything is less than that, minus 3, I am entering, out of constraint. Out of constraint. If I say that, if I say that, Something like KVR is saying that what? Don't enter like this. Are you following me? Did you understand this constraint of the hacker ranker problem here? Less than or equal to 20. This constraint is you observe it. These are all mathematical notations are available here. It's not even not possible to select also. They're all mathematical notations are given. Online students, is it clear? Range of n also you can use it. You can use my dear student, Tamanna. You can use range of n. So don't get such type of doubts. You can use range of n also. You can use. You can use. No issue at all. You can run the code successfully. That is also done. Even in our PyCharm also, you can use a range of n. You can write it. You can say this. 
you can say something like you know eight eight numbers are going to come because range of n means it starts from zero only starts from zero only are you following me students right is this type of example so are you able to follow me good is this type of sessions of hacker ranking is useful or not is it useful or not right is this is a case in outside places is this type of things is the people are teaching outside is this things are teaching outside no so we have to tell everybody in such a way that what we are doing the services to our students you have to tell to your friends you have to tell to your friends so you have to inculcate your friends about our classes what we are explaining it this is my this is whenever i take the sunday class i will tell you students where continuous hacking hacker ranker problems i will go on explaining it okay students now next when i come to next level when you come to next level when you come to next level we are going to do the next problem statement we will discuss okay students next level next problem statement i will explain next when i take the next also i will intimate i'll keep the google drive class link like this today how you did like that i will go for it okay students i will keep in our respective google drive classes i will keep it so that you can attend my classes regularly you, whenever i take that hacker ranking examples on some sundays like this you can attend my classes like this are you following students now so coming to the point of it coming to the point of it right this type of problem statement students i will explain so the main motive of this class is how to understand this problem statement with the constraints once we understand the problem now this is called understanding problem on the problem we are understanding our python subject we are understanding python subject like that you can do it with java also c++ also everything we have to do like this so understand the problem understand your coding and solve the problem that is what industry require that is what is mnc require so this type of lectures will help you a lot so my dear students i'll stop my class and uh, next class i will intimate for you when i will take the next class in google drive class be in touch with me continuously you be in the google drive class so that we can intimate for you okay students fine thank you my dear students all the best no recordings will be given my dear students no recordings will be given it is a live class you have to attend thank you my dear students all the best right thank you thank you for your appreciation thank you for, for your appreciation about my class well so thank you students all the best happy sunday for everybody right right puram kiran thank you my dear student so you are saying a very appreciable statement so by searching of gold we found a diamond like you sir thank you very much thank you my dear student very nice nice word nice word we are following you so really i felt very much happy about your sentence right my dear students thank you all the best so pavan kumar i will try i will try i'll try uh, uh, i'll try to take dsa data structures and algorithms we'll try to go for it right if any such things are there i will tell you more if any new batch will start i will tell you that fine right students thank you all the best 
I'll tell you, Ma, when I when I when my new batch will start, I will tell you that. When I will start, when I'll start. My dear sir, any new batch will start, I will tell you that. Thank you. All the best. I'm logging out. Take, take care. All the best.